Does your daily routine have enough downtime? Well, the time to relax is actually when you feel you don't have enough time for it. Welcome to Mindset Monday. We've all pondered over the habits of successful people and what makes them successful in the first place. Do they work nonstop? Are they total workaholics or are they on caffeinated drinks 24 seven? Do they sleep? Well, our very idea of what constitutes a productive day is deeply flawed because we associate it with working every minute of the day until we fall asleep, our head hits the pillow and then we rinse and repeat again. This overworking pattern is far from ideal. In fact, it should be the opposite outcome we're looking for or seeking to achieve, yet we villainize downtime. We think any time not spent working is a wasted opportunity. We could have achieved more success, accomplished more goals, completed more tasks only if we kept working. Do you see the issue here? Our daily routines have now morphed into this elaborate schedule filled to the brim with appointments, commitments, meetings, and obligations to the extent that when taking care of ourselves in any downtime we have is considered a luxury. So if you have to ask yourself if your routine has enough downtime, then you probably need to make sure that you fit more downtime into your schedule. So why is downtime important anyway? Well, much needed downtime can help boost your productivity and give you an energy boost. Heavy workloads and endless to-do lists make us feel like we are less productive, less efficient, and that we have no time to take vacations or holidays. This makes us feel burnt out, frustrated, and completely exhausted. You need to value free time, downtime, and your leisurely activities that provide whole health and wellness to your life. I can tell you over the winter break that taking that much needed time to spend time with family, um, have some time of leisure, sitting in the hot tub, playing with my children for an hour here and there, it made me feel more productive when I had time to read and relax and have some downtime. And I know that come the new year, I am going to be hugely productive, hugely effective, and I have lots of great things planned on the horizon for 20 2021. So you need to schedule this downtime into your, your daily routine. So how can you better use your downtime now that you know you need to have that as part of your daily ritual and routine? Well, first thing is make sure that you schedule in downtime. Second thing, make rituals and routines that you can follow on a daily basis and build that into your daily routine. And lastly, thirdly, make sure that you free your mind of clutter and things that you don't need to be thinking about and that clutter your mind and make you less effective. So I hope this Mindset Monday was useful for you. And I know it really is for me, someone who has not taken downtime in the past to make sure that I recover and recuperate. And it really has improved my interpersonal relationships, um, my, my joy, the care that I give myself. And I really want this for you as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed this Mindset Monday. Please um, make sure you go to my website at www.amanda-desilva.com forward slash newsletter and you can sign up for these Mindset Mondays delivered right to your inbox weekly so that you don't miss anything or click below and subscribe to my YouTube channel and that way you're alerted every time I upload a new video. Take care and I hope that these practices will help you greatly come the new year 2021.